Criminal prosecutors in New York have arrested Aussie Media CEO Carlos Watson on fraud charges. And it was a bit of a surprise for everyone, but especially for Watson. Now, Watson was arrested Thursday morning in a Manhattan hotel and accused of falsifying information about Aussie's performance and inflating its projected earnings in an effort to secure tens of millions of dollars in investments to offset the fledgling company's mounting debt. Now, he is accused of conspiring to commit securities fraud and wire fraud. And I forgot about how insane this story was. We initially covered it after they got caught committing the fraud. This is the update where they're arrested. But Watson's arrest came after Samir Rayo, a former executive with whom he founded Aussie, pleaded guilty to fraud and identity theft charges in a secretive federal court proceeding earlier this week. Want to know why? So they had a investor call, right? You know how companies have their meetings every quarter with investors. And during that call, there was something insane. Go ahead, Jake. So this one was a little different. It's in the arguably worse. So this was not an investor update call. This was a call where they were trying to get new investors. Oh, okay. and, I see. Okay. And that's going to be critical to this story because on the other end of the call, the people they're trying to get money from was Goldman Sachs. Mm. Critical mistake. All right, I'll let you pick it back. You up. want to screw with ordinary Americans? There's no cop on the beat. You'll be fine. You want to screw with Goldman Sachs? Plenty of cops on the beat. And that's the takeaway from this story, for me at least. Okay, so let's get to the details. So, uh, Rayo ended up pleading guilty Tuesday of this week under a court approved John Doe pseudonym. He admitted that between 2018 and 2021, he made misleading statements to investors and inflated the company's financial performance while also committing identity theft. Now, here's the part that gets juicy. Rayo, Ozzy's then chief operating officer, impersonated an executive of Alphabet Inc's YouTube during a fundraising call with Goldman Sachs Group Inc. Mr. Watson acknowledged the incident in a statement at the time, but said Rayo's behavior on the call was the result of a mental health issue. Yeah. But prosecutors ain't buying that at all. And they think that he was actually instructing and coaching Rayo as this ridiculous yeah. scam was taking place. That's what they're alleging. Yeah. Now, Watson and Rayo also agreed for Rayo to impersonate a cable network executive in 2020 through a fake email address in an attempt to secure a loan from a bank. According to the indictment, the men were both charged with aggravated identity theft. Yeah, I've been trying to step in, it's Rao. Oh, whatever, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Okay, uh, because I have a really good friend with the same last name. I don't. So. Uh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, all right, guys, here's the important stuff. Um, so there's two different issues here. One is inflating their numbers uh, and misleading investors saying, oh, we're making all this money when they're not. Uh, the second is the fake call where they impersonate the YouTube slash Google executive, right? Uh, the fake call is way more important, okay? Uh, because I got news for you guys. Uh, almost everyone in the industry, and I say almost because we don't do it and we get punished for it, almost everyone else inflates their numbers. Yep. Okay, so if that's a crime, <laughs> They're gonna have to arrest 90% of the executives in digital media. I mean, Steven Crowder accused the Daily Wire of doing that during their little tiff. Yeah, is anybody getting arrested over there? Okay, look guys, it's almost, I mean, look, I've been, we're in this industry. I've been looking at these numbers for the last 21 years while we've been in this business, okay? And I look at it and I go, that don't make any sense. And then later you find out it didn't make any sense. Okay, I'll give you one example, there was a company called Maker. Uh, I'm not saying they inflated their numbers. I'm not saying they did anything illegal. I'm just saying, and I really don't know that, okay? Uh, but here's what I do know. Uh, they uh, said, oh, we've got all these things that it's amazing and we got this kind of growth and we got that kind of revenue. And they sold it to Disney for $700 million. Jeez. And a short period later, Disney wrote it down for zero because it was worth zero. Wow. Okay? Wow. So that happens in this industry all the time, wow. okay? So then you're thinking, wait a minute. Uh, so, but this is really heavy, especially for white collar crime. Nobody gets arrested for white collar crime, right? And and uh, and Carl Swanson was like shocked by it. And literally, the lawyers were like, "This is shocking." Yeah. Right. Yeah. So why did it happen? First, they got Rao and the chief of staff to flip. 
Why do they flip? Because they're white collar criminals. Yep. Of course they're gonna flip, right? They're not like hardened mob guys or whatever. They're gonna be like, oh, you wanna go to a country club prison or you wanna go to a real prison? No, like, country club, you get probation, please, I'm begging you. I'll turn in everybody, right? Softest people in America. Good, good, I want you to turn evidence in it's because you're guilty. Okay, but you look at it and go, well, Carlos is black. I mean, maybe it's a, maybe it's a racial thing, right? No, people in this industry love Carlos. So I know Carlos a little bit. He's a very charming guy. Mm. Uh, he's very well educated, and 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 he had a show on MSNBC. He's got all the right credentials, but be, um, but maybe not educated enough to know that he can't mess with the oligarchy, <laughs> right? Because that's what it. this is don't about. That's what this is about. Exactly. Yeah. In this case, it ain't racial at all. Okay, you can steal from poor people. You can lie to poor people and middle class people all day long. The minute you lie to Goldman Sachs, you're going to prison, okay? So that's how this works. We've told you this before and you can see it now. You can see the pattern after we tell you from here on out. The only people who ever get arrested for white collar criminals, Bernie Madoff, what do you do? He stole from rich people. What did Carlos and Rao try to do? They try to basically steal defraud from rich people, yes. from rich people yep. okay? That is a cardinal sin and so that's why he's in a world of trouble and now indicted. Can I just also say, I mean, the self esteem and self confidence it takes to try to pull what they try to pull, yeah. right? Where you've got Rao posing as an alphabet executive. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, it, it that, really that is. was particularly amazing. <laughs> and, wow. um, and by the way, uh, Carlos uh, <laughs> said afterwards in the press, etc., and now to, still to this day to the authorities, like, oh, it was a mental health problem for Rao and he had a breakdown, but, oh, but you know, we're helping him through it. We're helping him through it, okay? Now they have the text from Rao because he turned evidence against them. Oof. So in the text, he's saying like, hey, this you call in, get to this, this, Oof. that, the other thing, and then we'll pretend together. So there's no question. Well, look, let him have the case, let him have the trial, but the evidence right now looks pretty damning. Fun side note here, in our interactions with Ozzy, um, at one point, uh, we were basically told by them that, well, we don't know if we want to work with TYT, you know, because you guys might not be brand safe because you sometimes you attack corporations uh. and powerful people, and so advertisers might be uncomfortable. Mm. Okay, well, I don't know if advertisers are comfortable with folks going to prison, uh, but are, is that brand safe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but they're about to find out. Oh God, mm, I love that part of the story that I didn't know about until this very moment. It feels so good. I just want to savor it for a minute. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.